Hello and welcome to Friday Night Nexus. If you haven't seen already, Buddy Murphy showed up at New Japan Pro Wrestling. We're going to cut straight to that right now. So here we are, New Japan Pro Wrestling. This is El Desperado on his way to the ring, a member of Suzuki Gun. This man is impressive in the ring, and you can hear the New Japan Pro Wrestling crowd are not a fan of El Desperado as Suzuki Gun aren't exactly liked too much just due to their antics of just pure aggression, pure ruthless aggression. But we can see El Desperado doesn't even care. Coming to the ring with his classic guitar, and you can hear it being played in his theme song. El Desperado is here in New Japan Pro Wrestling, his home to go one on one against our FNN World Champion, or unofficial World Champion in the form of Buddy Murphy. Now this is the first time that I am personally seeing this footage, the first time you are seeing the footage, so who knows the result of this match? The only person that has been given the authorization to see this footage is Shane McMahon. Even the crowd in the arena, they were told not to leak anything to do with this show, it's just how it works. But this is Buddy Murphy making a surprise appearance in New Japan Pro Wrestling. That was the only information we were given, but we were told that something took place on this night that changes the FNN landscape for the worst. That's not a good sign, but Shane McMahon will address it. You can see Buddy Murphy taking in the NJPW crowd. New Japan love a little bit of Buddy Murphy. But here we go, the match is getting underway. There is El Desperado, Buddy Murphy. The bell has been rung, here we go. Both men face to face, calling elbow tie up FNN versus New Japan Pro Wrestling. A little taste right here of what in earth could happen if that show happened back in the day. But look at this, Buddy Murphy. Really great in the ring. Just wrenching the arm and takes him down. Desperado in full control, armbar right here. He's just stretching it, Buddy Murphy rolls out. Here we go, Colin will tie up once again. El Desperado getting put in a headlock. Buddy Murphy working on him, takes him down, very nice. Used the ropes to his momentum there. Here we go, El Desperado, headlock of his own. What can Buddy Murphy do? Here we go, Buddy Murphy. Pushing him off the ropes, here we go. Here we go! Very big power slam! What's well, Buddy Murphy got planned here? Big Irish whip into the corner. Oh, Desperado with a forearm straight to the face. Desperado swinging for the fences. Here we go, he finally got a forearm. And Buddy Murphy straight back with an onslaught blows and takes down Desperado. Desperado clinging to the ropes. Buddy Murphy saying, oh hell no, trying to get more power onto him. But look at this, these open hand slaps by El Desperado and now he's just taking the onslaught, Buddy Murphy coming back, there we go, big Irish whip into the corner, Buddy Murphy, chop, beautiful, here we go, up onto the top rope, Buddy Murphy, nope, Desperado all the way up there, Senton takes down Buddy Murphy, that could be it, here we go, Desperado, pin, one, two, just a two count, Desperado shocked by that result, what a huge, huge sent on. Oh wow, just takes Buddy Murphy down for a lethal kick. 
open hand slap, here we go once again, and look at this, he's working on that leg, and takes him down, oh, Desperado, cracking his neck, what could he be going for here, now he's just stalking, Buddy Murphy, because he's Buddy Murphy, ooh, Rowan sent on right into the corner, beautiful move by Desperado, oh my god, neck breaker, now he's got a double underhook suplex, Beautiful move right there by Desperado. Here we go. One, two, oh. Just, just a one and a half count right there. Desperado, he truly wrestles as if he is a game character. It is, it's amazing, the ability of this man. But here we go with these lethal kicks once again. Desperado, going crazy. He's just got so much going through his head, here we go, beautiful, this is a new Japan Pro Wrestling show from, a, it was a few days ago, at least when this show was airing, and this was a taster for their American tour, they're just down the road in Los Angeles, California, a few states away. That beautiful scoop slam there by Buddy Murphy. Here we go. Big Irish whip into the corner. Desperado in trouble. Big forearm there. Buddy Murphy running into the corner. And there we go. Buddy Murphy taking in this new Japan Pro Wrestling crowd here in LA. Desperado in trouble. He truly is. Beautiful forearms, chops, and kicks. He's going for a drop kick there. Desperado said no. And that kick turned him inside out. I think he may actually be out. And he's going for a pin to test the waters. One, two, three, no. Just a two count. Desperado couldn't put it away. Now look at this. Here we go. Big Irish whip into the corner. Buddy Murphy in trouble. No build like he was going for double knees. And he just got laid out with a huge... Huge punch and a knee straight to the tempo now. But Murphy all the way up there. But Murphy, beautiful picture, perfect elbow drop. It up. He was stalking him there. He was thinking of ending this, but maybe not just yet. Here we go, beautiful chop. Forearm straight to the face and another one. Here we go. Buddy Murphy throwing him out. What is he planning? Oh, oh here we go. Topi on heel. Beautiful. Picture perfect. Topi on heel right there. And here we go. Knee straight to the face. Who knows if he's even bleeding under there. We can't exactly see. And then goes El Desperado. The referee is counting. This is a match that will not end until a 20 count going by New Japan Pro Wrestling rules. Buddy Murphy's not used to these strong style like maneuvers of El Desperado and a beautiful head scissors. There was no strong style about that. That was just pure technical lucha libre. Referee still counting. Here we go, Desperado. Oh, beautiful kick. Here we go. They better be watching because that referee is counting down and he is counting. No, he's counting up, sorry. He's counting up very fast. They think it may be a 13 count. 14 count. Desperado up the ropes. The referee has stopped the count. He's been a little lenient on these wrestlers. Desperado, here we go, sent on once again, takes him down, Buddy Murphy, centre of the ring, this is it, one, two, three, no, Desperado, shocked, confused, and in awe, oh, due to Buddy Murphy's resilience here tonight, this man isn't calling himself the FNN world champion for nothing, there we go, oh, no, oh, no, no, there we go. Right after this match, we will get... Oh, here we go, roll up, roll up in. Oh, nope, he's letting it go. Right after this match, we will get an address from the FNN executive shareholder, Shane McMahon. 
as how he feels about Buddy Murphy showing up in New Japan Pro Wrestling with the FNN World Championship. Look at Buddy Murphy sitting Desperado up in a tree of war position. Buddy Murphy. What has he got planned here? He's got something planned. Drop kick straight to the face. Jesus Christ, he might have kicked the kid's head off. Oh, Buddy Murphy iron him up. This could only mean one thing. The law is about to go down. Murphy's law right in the centre of the ring. There's everything picture perfect about that. Referee hurrying into position. One, two, three. And Desperado couldn't finish it. Buddy Murphy just won the match. And he won it for Buddy Murphy, not for Friday Night Nexus. But look in the New Japan Pro Wrestling crowd. They are going crazy for this man. This man just put on a spectacle for them. A surprise visit and all. Buddy Murphy going completely crazy and Friday AGPW, sorry. Uh, wait a second, Buddy Murphy. He was just looking at this or not. He's, he's going under, that's a steel chair. Perhaps this is why Shane McMahon is angry, the music's off. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Now, wait a second, that's, that's Davy Boy Smith, member of Suzuki Gun. And out goes Buddy Murphy. Perhaps this is why Shane McMahon is angry. Buddy Murphy just may have caused war. He's inviting Buddy Murphy here to Friday. Oh God! I just realised he's not even calling him Buddy Murphy. He's calling him by his real name of Matt. And Buddy Murphy has been given an invite by Shane McMahon to FNN. That is that's a shock. That is a shock right there. We're going to cut to a commercial break right now. shocking revelation that we have just seen as you can see in the ring that is Dragon Lee and he goes one on one with the truth the greatest man to ever live the man known as Austin Aries and there he is Austin Aries, a man who shows up out of nowhere last week on Friday Night Nexus and completely lays out the FNN shooting star champion. That changed the game. We have had words that Finn Balor may not be allowed near ringside, but that is just speculation. Who knows what this match could hold. Dragon Lee, talented wrestler, going one on one against Austin freaking Aries. Austin Aries taking in the fight zone. The fight zone not showing too much appreciation. There has been a lot of doubt in Austin Aries. A lot of people saying that he is nothing but a good wrestler. He is nothing but that. He doesn't have a gimmick. He can't really talk much, he's just a good wrestler. And perhaps... Oh! Jeez Christ, perhaps Dragon Lee's trying to make a name for himself. Taking out Austin Aries right away, but Austin Aries, Jesus Christ, straight back. Right there. Oh, chop in the corner. Out goes Dragon Lee, not wait a second, he's been held. Oh, a beautiful neck breaker. Austin Aries decimating this kid right here. And here we go, beautiful atomic drop. Austin Aries picking him up, here we go. What's he going for here? That's a neck breaker. Oh, where's he? Keeps it held. 
keeps it held here we go last chancery the wings of Icarus right here the last chancery he's got oh my god he just made very quick work of this Dragon League character there it is buddy got oh, buddy Murphy that is Austin Aries quick work indeed Austin Aries is on top of his game and that is, that was a message to Finn Balor. You can see him saying to the crowd, what do you think of that? Was that just, was that just a wrestler or was that a machine? Oh my god, buddy. Jesus. I'm just in shock that I'm mixing up my wrestlers like Austin Aries. Oh, and here we go with a wrestler that's been very angry with just how he's being treated in Friday Night in the Exodus. He shows up and he considers himself a big draw. Former WWE employee. This is Jimmy Jacobs, a little angry. He actually tweeted out earlier on this week. We will show you that tweet in just a second. That is Jimmy Jacobs. As we said, former WWE employee. He considers himself a big draw. But... Like, if you look at this tweet, he claims he tapped out the WWE you know, the FNM World Champion and he wants a title shot tonight. And perhaps we're going to find out if he is being given that title shot. But you can see Jimmy Jacobs is a little angry. He's a little angry, but he's still going through the same shtick. Jimmy Jacobs. FNN World Championship shot, we're assuming that's what he's getting right here on Friday Night Nexus, but when it comes to FNN, anything can happen, anyone can show up at any given moment. Is Andrade going to come out? That is not Andrade Cien Almas. That is not even an FNN World Champion, that's not even an FNN Champion in general. This is the returning undefeated new named anti-hero. This is none other than the man that likes to cause pain, the extreme sadist. That is Alistair Black. FNN DN2 was not just the end of Eric Bischoff, it was the end of Tommy freaking end and the beginning of Alistair Black. The extreme sadist is here in Friday Night Nexus and he is staring down Jimmy Jacobs. Jimmy Jacobs is very uneasy in that ring as he was expecting an easy battle against Andrade Cien Almas. In his opinion of course, in his opinion it was an easy battle. But what he got was this man. And this man is someone that should not be taken lightly. This is Alistair Black, one of the most dangerous men not just in professional wrestling, not just in any combat sports, just in the world. Look at that presence. And we're not even surprised that Jimmy Jacobs get the hell out of that ring. Alistair Black has never lost a match on Friday Night Nexus. Jesus Christ, this is, this is a shock. This is a sheer shock for the fight zone, but it seems this match is going underway. Alistair Black in that corner, just stretching. And he just walks straight up to Jimmy Jacobs, look at both men. Oh my god, he just grabbed him, kick. Oh my god, a Jesus! I don't even know what to call that. He just kicked their head off and he just said it's execution time. Oh! Oh my god, just all these kicks and he's just down. I think he's actually out cold. Out cold in his feet. Jesus. He dodged it there, that might have been pure instinct, but he still goes down. Oh look at this. 
Oh no. Oh no, I know where this is called. This is what he calls the black mass and he just takes him out. Jimmy Jacobs is out cold after that first initial kick and there's another one. Two black masses in a row and he just stomps in the face. Oh, he's picking him up again as we said, this man's the extreme sadist. He takes pleasure out of this and there we go. And there is the pin. There is no doubt that Jimmy Jacobs can't kick out of this. Jimmy Jacobs might even not be able to get into the ring again. Oh my god. Alistair Black just completely decimated him. And he's just reclaimed the ring as his. This just changed the landscape of Friday Night Nexus. Alistair Black in the centre of the ring. Reclaiming his home in FNN and wait a second, we're gonna go backstage. We're about, there's an altercation happening backstage. That is Finn Balor and Austin Aries fighting. And Finn Balor takes him down. Austin Aries just out of a just out of a match. I was about to say hard fought, but it was a very, very fast fought match and Jesus right into the locker room. Luckily there's no one in there as they ran for the heavens as Alistair Black has returned and just a bin to the back of the head. Finn Balor stalking Austin Aries and a bin straight to the head once again. That was already used as a weapon so it was extra, extra sharp. Oh right into the locker. Finn Balor. Finn Balor with a second. Oh a super kick. Oh no 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 no. We another super kick. And Austin Aries is out cold. Finn Balor just laying him. Oh no wait a second. Seems Jimmy Jacobs is hot. Jimmy Jacobs is hot but you can see Alistair Black still in the centre of the ring not even caring. This is like shades of when Alistair Black first showed up at FNN Crossroads. He completely decimated Joey Ryan. Completely decimated him. Oh no, no, wait, this is exactly, this isn't a shades, this is an exact replica. Here we go, and he's beaten down in the face. Just like he did to talk to Joey Ryan back in the day. Jesus Christ. Jesus, he has a concussion. He is very, very concussed. According to the referee, he needed medical attention, but he still gets beaten down. Now he's finally getting taken out. Security have removed Alistair Black for the safety of, well, everyone. And we're going to get into our main event of the evening. And that is Johnny Curtis, the commander of the Border Watch. Getting a huge win over Rob Van Dam two weeks ago on Friday Night Nexus. Johnny Curtis has an even bigger opportunity here tonight as he goes one on one against Bobby, not, not Bobby Roode, he goes one on one against the man that got the glorious dollar stuffed down his throat, Dean Demox Ambrose, the hand of God. But we can see Johnny Curtis taking in the crowd, he's saying the hand of the border is going up and the curtains are coming down. The Iron Curtain is here on Friday Night Nexus in the form of Johnny Curtis, the commander in arms. Accompanied by the Border Watch, but if there's one man that's never scared of groups, it's this man, Dean Lee Mox Ambrose. He knows a little something about taking out groups when he went one on three against the Crow at one point when he went up against the Black Label when he was the leader of the Gods of Extreme Dean Ambrose is here to prove that he has still got it since Bobby Roode is claiming that he doesn't perhaps Bobby Roode may in fact be inside the head of Dean Ambrose and that is not good considering both men need to step up their game because Okada is coming 
to Friday Night Nexus, Okada, pretty much the greatest professional wrestler to never grace the FNN ring, is finally coming to grace the ring. And Dean Ambrose wants that shot as he is the unrecognised leader of the fight zone. And you can see him saying that to the fight zone. And the fight zone agree, some people don't, but no matter what, this man earned his accolade two time FNN World Champion. He has the fastest FNN World Championship match to ever grace the ring. And that, that is impressive. Dean Ambrose winning the only FNN blood score match that has ever existed. Then we can see he is ready to go up against the border watches Johnny Curtis, Dean Ambrose. Here we go, the bell has been rung, both men face to face and a big clobbering blow by Dean Ambrose. Johnny Curtis chop. Here we go, oh nope. Johnny Curtis getting the offence right in there. Beautiful stuff, blowing a forearm. Here we go, big Irish whip. Johnny Curtis, nope, Dean Ambrose. Clobbering blow to the back. And a DDT, beautiful picture, perfect. Dean Ambrose already hyped up. Johnny Curtis is down, the border watch are looking on in sheer shock, but here comes Johnny Curtis. Johnny Curtis one blowing chops, chops in the corner, and another one. Here we go, he's on top, he's taking the fight. Oh, he couldn't get the third blow in there. But Dean Ambrose is up, and here we go, flow over, DDT. Beautiful, and we've seen the ropes went haywire with Johnny Curtis's legs, one. Two, no, just a two count. Very, very close. Very close call right there. Here we go, kick to the gut by Dean Ambrose. Johnny Curtis, beautiful snap there. Here we go, drop kick to the back of the head. Back of the head, lower neck region. Oh, just missed the forearm. Got the forearm that time. Here we go, big Irish whip. Going for a close line, Johnny Curtis ducks under and here we go, huge larry and he went flying. Here we go, we've got a pin, he's up against the ropes, the referee needs to look, but he's, maybe he's not caring or perhaps he was just inside the good foot positioning of Johnny Curtis, but it wasn't enough. Johnny Curtis going all the way up those ropes, he's watching on. Here we go, Johnny Curtis, beautiful missile drop kick. And Dean Ambrose goes flying across the ring. Now here we go. He's stomping on that hand and a beautiful knee straight down onto the wrist. Dean Ambrose is in trouble it seems. Trouble in hot water. Trouble at the border. And beautiful that was shades of Dustin Runnels. Dustin Rhodes also known as go dust. John Curtis taken in the fight zone. Everyone's favourite enemy, the Border Watch, have been on fire, not losing a single match in forever. Over a year as FNN Tag Team Champions. What an impressive streak these men are on. And look at this, raking the eyes. And raking the eyes once again with that wrist tape. Dean Ambrose, a beautiful knee straight to the head. And Johnny Curtis rolls out, very smart right there. And he was shouting at him, telling him to get into the ring. And once again shouting at him, Johnny Curtis obliges just straight into the ring. Face to face, look at this. What a huge main event that we're getting right here. Johnny Curtis taking the fight. Forearm right there, beautiful chop. Here we go, oh my god, kick straight to the gut. Big Irish whip. Now we can hear the fight zone trying to get Dean Ambrose back on track. Trying to distract Johnny Curtis, formerly known as Fandango. That, oh my god, a flying forearm by Dean Ambrose. There we go, he's got a pin here. One, two. Oh my god, Dean Ambrose shocked. 
right on top of that F and N logo. Dean Ambrose watching on. Oh, beautiful forearm there, here we go. Dean Ambrose, the lunatic coming straight back. The crazy, maniacal Dean Ambrose forearm. The Mox is on fire. No, Johnny Curtis shuts him down. He just shot the borders and here we go. Russian leg sweep. Yep, on the way, straight back to his feet. Beautiful, straight up up to the top rope. Looking here in the fight zone, showing either their approval or their hatred for Johnny Curtis. This guy is doing it right in a second. Here we go. The curtain is dropped. There we go. Jesus Christ. The scales of justice right there. That is it. It's got to be two. Three, oh my god, Johnny Curtis just pinned former FNN world champion Dean Ambrose. What a win that is! And you can see Johnny Curtis is taken in the fight zone, and it seems like Aiden English and Luke Harper are just playing around there. Both men are in sheer approval for this man, Johnny Curtis.